French footballer Benjamin Mundy has been found not guilty of six counts of rape and one count of sexual assault. The Manchester City defender was tried at Chester Crown Court. Mundy had been suspended from professional football since August of 2021 when he was arrested. Well, for more on that story, I'm joined by sports editor Jean-Emile Jamin. Hi, Jean-Emile. Now, he's been cleared of these six out of seven counts of rape. Tell us more about that case. Uh, well, six counts of rape, one uh, count of sexual assault, as you mentioned. But now there's two counts which uh, the jury couldn't reach a verdict on, and that was one count of rape and one count of attempted rape. And uh, the uh, prosecution basically pushed uh, to have that as a retrial. A retrial will be taking place on the 26th of June uh, for those two counts. And we'll see if the jury, which comprises of seven men and uh, four women, uh, will reach a definitive conclusion on uh, those counts. Uh, but uh, in terms of when that uh, verdict was written out at the uh, Cheshire Crown uh, Court today, Benjamin Mendy, he could see him, uh, he put his face in his hands. Uh, it obviously was a huge sense of relief for him, uh, but the prosecution had accused him of being a sexual predator and uh, using sex for sport. Uh, so quite damning allegations and uh, even his own defense says that uh, his life will certainly never be the same again, uh, which was to be expected after such a trial. It was a six month long trial. Uh, the jury uh, was deliberating for the last 14 days mm. and uh, have now reached their conclusion, at least on these counts. Mm. Now, the French player had been at Man City since 2017. Uh, looking at his career, what impact do you think this is going to have? Well, it's, it's devastating for him. Uh, and again, to be expected when uh, all of those allegations came flooding in. Uh, he was Manchester City's record signing at £52 million, a left back when he arrived from Monaco in 2017, played his last game on the 15th of August 2021. And just days later, he was arrested uh, on those counts. So uh, in terms of where this puts him and what Manchester City will do, they, they've released a statement today saying they've noted the charges, they've noted the allegations and they've noted the uh, verdict by the uh, prosecution that those charges have been dropped and that there has been a that a retrial will be taking place, but they cannot comment further at this time. His contract is up next summer, and in order to save face, uh, it is expected that he will most likely have to go abroad from uh, England, uh, the French player. Um, and uh, it obviously puts Manchester City in quite a tough position. Uh, I, I don't know what they will be basically doing from here. It's it's quite an unprecedented situation for mm. them, certainly. But I'm sure they will be under pressure to send some sort of message. Jean-Emile, thank you very much.